let me tell you how I just died in Undermine. I was going to over here to the left to get some gold that's in this wall. And I decided just for fun to blow up an exploding barrel and it did explode it through like burning oil all over the place. And it happened to land over here where I was walking to go around and get that gold. My greed, my greed just killed me. I had no health. And now Elizica, Elizica, uh, has fallen and her heir was told by the fortune teller that she would die a terrible death. And boy, boy. If embarrassment is any barometer for how terrible a death is, then yes. <laughs> yes, you have, Elizica. Jesus. The game is called Undermine. It's available right now on Steam. I'm just throwing my controls all over the place. Uh, for $19.99. And we're going to take a look at it today. Uh, because it's just... Because it's apparently it's... Uh, uh, your air uh, roguelites that involve your air and uh, ha handing down uh, wealth, riches, knowledge, whatever, for the continuation of the story. That's how uh, all these games work out. Rogue Legacy, this one, and probably so many more. So uh, this is your lobby area where you could go through and spend some of the money that you've earned. I have not really earned squat, so I'll probably spend it all on bombs. But I'll go ahead and give you the tour. Uh, yes, you can pet the dog. His name's Shadow. Uh, he gets very, very, he's very happy once you do that. He loves that. He really does. Such a good boy. Uh, we come over here. This is uh, basically the um, the magistrate or something. Uh, but he sells some uh, upgrades and stuff that you can do. So this is pick up items at a distance. These are like just kind of general upgrades that you could purchase, but they cost a lot of money. Um, and then he talks a lot of shit when you go over there and you talk to him. Uh, the game is the game has a very kind of sassy, um, kind of uh, uh, but sassy and playful. Uh, you know, kind of uh, a theme to some of the characters and to some of the discussions. And everything. It's like, oh, uh, we we found another peasant to go down to the mines and go stop this uh, uh, this enemy from uh, uh, you know coming up from the bottom. Uh, we can craft things here. And the right hand side over here, you have uh, these like amethyst purple uh, gems. And you can use that. That's your currency, basically, to get things done in terms of crafting. And some of the stuff is, you know, pretty good. I mean, a lot of this is going to be very run-of-the-mill kind of upgrades you'd expect with a, uh, you know, roguelike. Whether it's a platformer roguelike or a you know, top-down. This one has been called uh, by somebody in chat when I was playing it. Uh, the Mining of Isaac. And boy, is it that is that so accurate. So, so accurate. Um, procedurally generated levels, all that, all that stuff. Uh, let's see, Wayland's Boots. Uh, so this one, I almost got in the last run, I didn't, and I came across a room that had nothing but spikes, so that was amazing. The game totally set that up. Procedurally generated bullshit. Let's see, Gold Tooth, uh, sustain yourself on gold. The morbid trinket picked off a prospector who lived way beyond his years. Oh, I'm guessing uh, you could get health from gold, which is actually really, really cool because you get gold everywhere. Uh, I see a chance at avoiding death. Many uh, many have wondered how the street urchin was really meeting her end. Cool. So yeah, there's some uh, there's some good stuff here, and actually some of these things I don't think I even saw in the last, or maybe because I I bought something and unlocked another one because I don't remember seeing this one here. So uh, over here, upgrades, basic upgrades for your character. Uh, you could go ahead and spend. Let me see, three and a half. I'm seven short. Can I get that? Okay, I can get this at least. This isn't a bomb, so this is gonna make it so that I I, I can uh, uh, yeah gold lo gold loss minus. So like Rogue Legacy, uh, you only get to carry back so much of your gold when you die, and it is um you know that's gonna basically mitigate some of that. Look how happy Shadow is. He's so happy. See black bombs. See, it's so it's so worth it to pet the dog here. Look at he's just so happy. Uh, we could buy this stuff. We could buy it over here. Buy these uh, expand the shops food supply. This is basically more of like your meta upgrades, a special item voucher, expand the shops specialty item. So all it does is basically just uh, uh make uh, augment the abilities of some of the other uh, shops and stuff that you could you know, talk to. Now, I don't even have everything unlocked. Like, apparently, there's supposed to be a chef or something here. And then, um, uh, I don't know, a vendor of some sort there? <laughs> uh, oh, there's a back room over there, which is where you have like a bed or something like that, I think. I think it's your master bedroom. Something like that. Or not. I can't remember, actually. <laughs> Whoa, that guy's got a bomb on him. Careful. Now, this is going to give me an upgrade here. Let me go and mouse over to see what that is. Probably everything's fire. Yep. Your weapon is imbued with fire. Now, I could blow that if I had a bomb, but I don't. Uh, I thought I was going to buy one. <laughs> Apparently, I did not. Should not have meleeed that. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go. We got the health back. 201 health. Pretty good. Look at that. A fire. That's pretty great. Over here, there's some gold. Do I want to... I mean, some of this stuff we could probably just leave. Oh, it's not gold. This is a, um, a bomb. A bomb notification. There's a trap here. What's it do? There it is. I like that though. Now does it work ranged? 
don't know if it works on slimes, actually. They may be immune to fire. You can see it's actually trying to ignite and then not. The game does take into consideration uh, whether something's on fire or not as a, uh, you know, as a, as a, um, um, I don't know what you call it, but <laughs> but basically, if it recognizes that something is on fire like that, we're gonna assume we light one of these things on fire. You notice the water will put it out, so it's very very cool. I guess the state of the weapon, the elemental state of the weapon, or whatever the item is. So yeah, it'll take that into consideration. So if you're on fire, just jump into the water. Very very cool. Uh, one thing not to jump into is tar, because then you will ignite the tar. And I just left some uh, some gold down there, so I'll come back in a second. Whoa. Also, I had a pretty cool relic that I picked up. Relics are basically the uh, during your run upgrades that you can pick up in uh, in roguelites. And oh no, um, like a scroll or a totem or something like that. And uh, in this case, it's basically it's the same thing with the uh, relics. No, these guys. Their own. The only purpose for those things is to come in and steal your stuff. They don't do damage or anything. They just steal your stuff. There's some gold here. We might as well go. Actually, no. There's a room that can be. Oh no, no I don't have the. Um, well, hold on. That's a door that's just open. The bombs exploding all over the place. I'm just looking at the mini-map. Do-do-do. Let me see. Um, yeah, this is just a room. Yeah, yeah. We should definitely go in here and just get this free relic. Knight's Pendant. Uh, deal more swing damage at high health. Oh. An incentive to not die. <laughs> to not get close to death, either. I wonder what the uh, scale is. I wasn't really paying attention to how hard I was hitting before, but I know that... Um, uh, I w in the last run, I was... Or one of the last runs, I had a general swing power up to upgrade relic so I have no idea how much hard I have without that so I'm rumbling there's a bomb can't get him oh gosh it's okay you just take some uh, yeah you take a hit on health there just a little embarrassed is all 37 38 God, I don't know if I was doing that much 40 and then let's see what happens if I get some more health. Maybe somebody drops some meat. Too bad there's no fire in here. I would love to ignite this thing to show you guys. Because it is kind of a nice little effect. But that's okay. Whoa. Dang it. Okay. Some meat. It just put me right back where I was, really. No. Dang it. Oh, he's going to get away too. My gold. You can see it too, they just, they just basically pick it up and just hold it over their heads. Okay, now I'm gonna do less damage, right? 37, hmm. I was doing 40 and such, so maybe it is kind of taking a hit. So does that mean then um, there must be a limit on the equilibrium, the point to where it is no longer is no longer giving you any extra bonus damage, but also not, I guess, not gonna deplete any further, right? Check this out. We can set it on fire. Can do both. That nah, doesn't matter. Although it doesn't stay purple, though. But anyways, yeah. So I wonder what the health limit is, where it just says, um, you know, well, it's not, it's not gonna take any more, uh, adding more damage, and now it's gonna start taking away damage. So I'm like minus fifty percent damage or something. Hmm. Those guys leave a spill everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought was kind of cool. Nice little. Um, just for environmentals. God, those guys sometimes just sneak up on you. <laughs> My favorite sound effect in the game is those guys getting kicked out of the fucking map. I swear. But a nice little uh, environmental thing is when you whack these things, it actually turns off the lights. If you whack the other one, it gets pretty dark. Just, I, I haven't seen this thing actually come in handy for any particular reason. Um, like for any specific, you know, event or anything like that. But, um, this room seems suspect. Okay. Anyways, uh, well, let's, well, let's try this. But it is kind of cool. Okay, it does nothing. Just checking. It's a weird room. Mm-hmm. Need a key to go up? We're gonna go down. And then go down again. Let's check, make sure there's no... No meat hidden in these bushes. You never know, man. There we go. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I've been playing this for probably just, uh, maybe like two and a half hours or something like that. Uh, over the... Over... Like, several weeks, I think now. Like a couple weeks. Couldn't really play too much after I broke my hand. <laughs> so, uh, so there's a lot of limitations. Um, I can now hold a controller and use that. Using a mouse, I played Gunfire Reborn with a friend of mine. 
and it was, uh, you know, the, it's, a, it's a first person shooter if you're unaware. Uh, and it was a little painful, man. I could not, I, I just did not have any stamina in that with my hand. Um, it is going to be just a gradual process, like, you know, there's certain games I can't play, no, no problem with, uh, uh, with the hand in its current state. Uh, but controller based games, no problem whatsoever, which means, of course, when we're streaming, we can pop open trials anytime. Anytime. Come on, come here. Come here. This is where that, um, whoa, that range issue, the dead space issue, this guy's gonna charge. Take a couple swings. He's gonna do it again. Get your friend. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. Whoa, okay. Uh, oh, what a bomb. Okay. Sometimes there are traps in the game, just so you know. There are traps in the game. Alright. I'm not just being paranoid. Uh, oh, I don't know why I try to go through there. I <laughs> just walk into a wall. Okay, so we can go over here and down. It's a pretty good run, man. Six minutes, boy. <laughs> oh, lightning. Lightning shock these guys. Very cool effect. Chain lightning. And lasts for just a five five minutes or something? Bottom left corner. This is about five minutes. Oh, big old ham steak. Look at that. If I end up if I end up swinging for less than I think like 27 or so, I think that was uh, roughly where my damage was. Then that means that it is uh, taken away. These guys. It is taking away my damage bonus and also depleting from my main ah my base damage output. Jeez. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, get out of here. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, my greed! Again! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Gabrilin. Traps. Careful traps. Oh, whoa! I didn't know it worked with that, too. Oh, that's so great! Oh, it's some meat. Too bad that's not a permanent upgrade. I love a relic like that. Maybe even on chance. Actually, you know what? I bet it exists. I bet there's a relic out there that does just that. What the hell is that? What is was that? Oh, whoa, I have no idea what this is. Is this a boss fight? We'll find out. As soon as I get all this gold and go into this next room, because I have no idea what's in here, so I'm not going to take a risk and just go with it. Oh, there's a store on the other side, and I have money. Let's go see what's up. What's up, my friend? What do you got for me? Uh, 500 Bomb Blast attracts items, expands and then contracts the universal sticky force. It attracts items? Okay. Uh, let's see, deals damage and destroys rocks, you know, 50, and then also some health. So I think I'll go and get that, and then get this, and then I'm not gonna take that. I'll save that money for when we get back to, to the joint. So, let me take a drink. And let's see what this is. Oh, oh, it's a, okay. It is uh, just like an upgrade room, isn't it? Let me see. So, up and locks for free, but for how long? Or, uh, increase damage, but decreases maximum health. You can only fire it once. It fired true, dude. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, huh. So, what is this currency, then? I have not seen this at all. This is awesome. Let's see. Up and locks for free? For how long? I kind of like that idea. Uh, this is just the glass cannon thing. I'm already taking a beating for like dumb reasons. So let's take it. We're cursed Deal with the demon. So let's go actually let's go into our Stat screen here by the way. That's what this is you could go through and see you are a peasant and these are your upgrades So yeah open locks for free for how long and that obviously is a timeline on it But I want to see this here poverty decrease the amount of gold received. Ah, I see so we got one boost and then uh, and then Two curses, I guess, but three curses. Is that what the one was? A one, three, one, two? I don't know. Um, but we see them here now. Deal less throw damage is difficult. So okay, that sucks. Uh, let's see, and then less gold, and then deal less throw. Oh my gosh! All right, I guess just as long as this thing goes, then right? Huh? So at least this one's deal deal yeah, deal more damage at a higher swing. But I wonder if this guy has anything good in here. I'm breaking my stuff, man. Oh, all this could go. Oh, look at this. Trash the place. Give me this garbage. Got that Pan's Labyrinth eye thing. God. What a tragic movie. Just brought the whole video down, didn't I? <laughs> it is pretty bad, though. Um, let's see where it puts me. And, oh, look at this. Oh, oh that was a, um, okay. That actually was setting me on fire. I, I 
foolishly thought that I was actually gonna get the fire imbue. Get out of here. Get out of here. Door's open for free. Hmm? No? Open on lock. There we go. Hey, I did not have a key. Oh, I said two. Oh, look at that. There's a countdown on it. Two, three. Oh, man. I thought it was deeper than that. Uh, let me see. What is this? See, uh, walk and jump on oil. Oh, I mean, that's kind of handy, but also having the money when you go back is also even... Also handy, so let me see. Walk and jump on oil. No, and a key. No, because I think I have more than two. Let's go break some shit as I leave, just to let them know who's boss. All right, so there's a door right here. It needs a key. Okay, those are bombs. Let me see. Unlock. Uh, now it's just four. Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay, wow, we are, we are just. Oh, look at this. this is also a secret. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So the number is changing at random. I wonder if the curse amount is also changing. No, okay, good. The curse will stay the same. Yeah, it's funny. I, I mean, yeah, I've only been playing for like an hour and a half, um, and the game is still revealing things to me, which is great. I mean, you don't want to have something so repetitive. We're going to go back there in a second, by the way. Um, that you pretty much reach the game loop in its entirety within the first couple hours. Uh, is it really going to make me just... Uh, damn it. I could just not do anything here, but... Make me work for it. Get it. Oh, dang. Get it. Shoo. Okay. Get some gold, gold, gold. This is a good gold run. No, 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 no. <laughs> I had to say something. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh. Oh, there's, there's some story pieces here. And I don't know what it is. But I can't open a door for free. I wonder if this one counts. That's a special key there. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, well, I tried. Uh, so he tells me the dungeon's closed. Off limits. <clears throat> and they tell me, um, nothing. Toadvine. I've seen his name in one of the uh, flavor texts, actually. Let's go see what's over here on the left. And then I guess we'll, um, go down and get out of here. Guess it was money, and it wants me to use the key, no problem. Now it's just six. So the number's going up by two now. Couldn't really make that determination initially because, you know, two to four make it could be a fluke. So we open this. This is six, has not moved. Maybe those are not locked. Oh man, yeah, they're gonna get away with a lot of these. Okay, all right, let me see. Antimatter, the next time you would take damage, gain that much in health instead. Well, that's a shame that I am already almost full health. That's fine, it's something. Oh, it's, our, it's this is actually a usable item. Very, very, very nice. We got a pretty good thing going so far. I believe I actually had like a, um, a dash of some sort, and I could be misremembering because, I mean, let's be honest, I've played, you know, we've played a lot of games like this. Uh, oops, I went the wrong room. I could have gone to the left and the up. Uh, so, uh, we'll wait, hold on. So, oh yeah, duh. That's so stupid. Uh, so the, uh, so you, you, you sometimes tend to like mix up some of your, some of the handling or something of some of the characters. And, oh, these games, oh boy. Maybe now's a good time to do that. Let me see. Boom. Look at that heal. Oh, and he ran off. Oh, that's what I call a pro gamer mood. Oh, they just walked right into that thing. Damn it. Get cocky. Nope. And then get robbed by these little stupid jelly beans. There is an opening over here. Let's go ahead and see what it is. It's a pressure plates. Whoa, okay. I am, I guess I'm just whacking that thing. Let's get in there and turn that up, but, um, oh, I got an achievement for that. How funny. Um, I don't remember them exploding before, and I wonder, I wonder why they explode. Uh, because I've gotten those things so many times, I just don't remember that part of it. But it's cool, man. We got a great, up, a great, um, Boost to our power. Did we go down that little stairs over there? I don't know. Boss time. I'm a little nervous because I've not yet beaten this boss. This might be the end of the road. Although I've also not had a oh, build like this. God, it's too bad I got rid of that thing. That potion. All the curses can come back. Oh. Oh, he does. I think he has another phase once you get him low enough. But man, is it hard to get him low. 
also, his whole front end is actually solid. He's gonna drop stuff on me. His whole front end is actually solid, so if I drop a bomb in front of him, he will push it until it goes off. Oh boy. <laughs> of course, of course. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Give me some swings. Something. Now he's gonna do this madness. Ah. Okay, get to this tail, get to this tail, get to this tail. I always do like no damage to this dude. I'm always trying to juggle the uh, all the ads. And just taking little bits of damage here and there! And it just, it just keeps on just chipping away until this! And that's the game loop. <laughs> the difference is, yeah, is that you're gonna get, uh, you, you get to take this gold home. Uh, actually, now look, this, I think it was fifty percent before, so that's actually a pretty significant upgrade. Um, <clears throat> the amount of gold I'm taking home. Let me see what I could buy. And actually, wait, can I eight uh, hundred? Can I go over here and buy something over here? Let me see. Isn't this thing eight hundred? It is. Let me see. Pick up items at a distance. That might be kind of handy, just to have. Just, just to have. And then we, when we come back, we'll have uh, 2,000. Uh, when we have 2,000. Peep. Let me see what it says. Looks like a merchant stand. Hey, let's go up here and see what this is, because I forgot. Oh, yes. There's, there's another... Okay, that's a whole other segment of game that I've not even touched. Not even touched. No? Nothing? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> there's a portal on the right. I have no idea. Go and pet the dog. And then there's a door on the right. I don't think that one goes anywhere, actually. This one. Knock. Go away. The laboratory is closed. Look at that. Oh, there's another thing coming. So, that is Undermine. It is a very, it is pretty fun uh, to play. The first time I played it, I uh, was right after playing Rogue Legacy, and I and I felt like, you know, because Rogue Legacy is such a fast-paced game, like Dead Cells, right? Super, super fast. Uh, and then I got into this, and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so slow. But, I, you know, having taken uh, about like a week in between playthroughs and getting back into it, and, uh, uh, you know, playing a uh, plan of like Wasteland uh, and also uh, Fey Tactics right now. And so it's like, cool, now this feels like a fast paced game. <laughs> There's so much action here. God, what would happen if I switched to, to Rogue Legacy right now? Jesus. So, very, very uh, solid uh, Mining of Isaac esque game. Uh, you can pick it up right now for $19.99 on Steam. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. I will see you guys later. Bye.